Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman Subscribe for comments Hey, 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 hey Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another TMNT action figure review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movies Naked Toys Baby Turtle Accessories set. If you're trying to pick these up, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I actually did pick these up at my local comic and action figure shop, Comic and Figure Addicts. If you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, you can go ahead and pick them up over there. Otherwise, you can find them online. Anyway, you can see that we get the four turtles right over here. I really like the window box packaging. And then on the side, you can see a bunch of product shots right over there. The pizza. Pizza. And then on the very back, you'd see that accessory added for the Mikey quarter scale figure, which I'm excited about. I believe this ooze is all sold separately. And then there's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then you can see on the back, we get more product shots. Or on this side, we get more product shots. And then on the very top, it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Baby Turtle accessory set. And then on the very bottom, you can see all the people responsible for creating these figures. Anyway, let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the four baby turtles with their Domino's pizza and these look great. I really like that NECA has produced these. I know they're just novelty pieces over here. There's not a whole lot of articulation going on with them, but they look fantastic and they do come with a lot of accessories and it's a lot of fun. So let's get a closer look at all those accessories and then we'll get a closer look at the four baby turtles. I can't stop saying it. I'm sorry. I can't say four baby turtles without using the Hamata Yoshi accent. So first off, we get this very realistic looking Domino's pizza box and I love how this came out. You can have some grease stains right over here as I darken things you can see the grease stains a little bit. I think that's great. We get the coupon with a little survey right there. That's really cool and I'm not gonna try to peel it off but yeah very nice classic looking Domino's pizza box and then you have uh, some little uh, details right here for the name. Does it have the yep 122 and an eighth? 122 and eighth. That's great. And then driver Tony, 13 bucks for the pizza. Wow. And then tile game pizza. I guess pizza prices haven't really gone up like a ridiculous amount since I was a kid, right? And then you have some more grease stains at the very bottom right over here. One thing I didn't even notice at first is that it doesn't even say Domino's right here. It's tile game pizza. I think that's very clever. Well done, NECA toys. And you can go ahead and lift this up. This little piece right here doesn't really tab into anything, but you can see that it does come with four pizza slices. If you still have your quarter scale Ninja Turtles figures with each of their pizza slices, you can go ahead and make a full pizza. I can't find those at the moment. I'm just not really that organized right now with a lot of stuff moving around in the garage and whatnot, but yeah. So if you could just imagine that doubled up, you would have a full slice of pizza if you still have all four slices from each of your quarter scale turtles. And they're the same slices that we'd seen before. You know, we get the sausage and we get the olives on there and the green bell pepper and you can see the tomato sauce. I mean, these always look great to me. I love that you could see the red tomato sauce in there and everything. So yeah, great pizza slices. And then our other food accessory, we get chips. Corn snack right here, True Crunch and more. We get the pork rinds with the Mikey, but yeah, we get some chips with this set right here. That's very cool. Uh, we also get some stickers for bandages. I think this is for Raphael. Uh, I can't really remember specifically if Raphael had band-aids on, but I know that he does get his butt kicked and he's going through that whole healing process. So it makes sense to me that we put some band-aids on Raph. So I think that's pretty cool. So you get these two larger bat bandages right over here, and then you get these two regular band-aids right there. And I just noticed now there are some product shots of one of the baby turtles having a bandage on the cheek or right around the beak right over here. So you can do that too. And the last couple accessories we get are the right hand from Michelangelo with the nunchuck spinning fingertip right there. And you can go ahead and port the nunchucks right there. And it goes and spins just like a helicopter. I think that's great. So you could replicate that yeah, fellow checker, huh? I think that is awesome. It can spin actually pretty fast. Oh, there it <laughs> Okay, be careful with it. Uh, let's put it right back on there. Boom, there it goes. It spins very well. I like that a lot. That is awesome. That is so cool. That is great. It just completes my Mikey figure for me. And then here's a quarter scale Mikey figure with the hand attached right here. And you just put it on there just like how you would with any other interchangeable hand. And then again, you can see it spinning right over here. That looks really cool. I really dig that a lot. Definitely going to have them on display like this from now on. Look how well it spins. It keeps spinning. Pizza. 
pizza. Hey, what do you think of my animation right there, huh? So I love the head sculpts on all of these. All four of these turtles are pretty much the same exact figure. There is a difference with one of them, and I'll get into that in a little bit. And I believe these are all hand-painted, because they do all look just slightly different from each other, but the sculpting does look remarkably similar to the point where I think it's just the same sculpt reused for all of these. But I really like the paint abs a lot, and the sculpts too. I like the, how the inside of the mouths came out right here. I like that we get this jaw articulation. That's great. I like those big doughy turtle eyes. Oh, they're so cute. And just to compare a couple of them right over here, you know, where you can see some slight differences in paint. I don't know, like the dot placements, you know, they're very, very, very similar to each other. They're supposed to all kind of look alike. I don't think there's any way you could tell the difference between one turtle from the other at this point anyway. But yeah, looking at that wrinkly neck, I think that looks awesome. Very pleased with that. High level of detail in there. And the shell, oh man, look at that. I mean, nobody makes Ninja Turtles figures like NECA toys, man, really. They just destroy the Turtles figures in a good way. And then looking on the side right there, you can see some nice brown paint. And it fades a little better on some of them. I don't know. Yeah, like this one right here, I don't know. I feel like it fades a little better. This one looks a little on the sloppy side, a little heavy-handed. Uh, comparing with this one right here, you can see we get a little bit more of a natural gradient than we do with this one. So, yeah, you know, not all of them came out looking the best, you know. Some of them look a little better than others, but that's okay, you know. I'm all right with that. You can see the dot placements right here on the torso are just slightly different. So, yeah, that's pretty cool to have, you know, a unique thing going on right here. But, yeah, looking at the fingernails, they look really good. And then looking at the legs, they look pretty good too. Peg holes at the bottom of the feet right there, and then you get your turtle culo. And then just to show them off, uh, one of them has legs that are kind of bent in a way where it kind of makes the turtle want to fall forward. I'm trying to figure out, what, I think it's this one right here, yeah. So if I put these two side by side, you can see how this one kind of leans forward a whole lot more so. So it's just a little bit of warpage in the plastic where this left foot has a toe pointing downward a lot more so than the rest of them. I actually kind of like that because it does make at least one of them just a little bit different from the rest, you know? I'm going to call that one Mikey. That one's Mikey. So the articulation is a bit on the limited side. Uh, you can see that the legs won't move at all. Yeah, I'm starting at the bottom of the figure right over here. So yeah, legs don't move at all whatsoever. Neither do the ankles or the feet or anything. Uh, neither does the torso. Uh, we do get shoulder joints that move outward that far, and you can move the arms all the way down, and you get a full 360 motion right here. Uh, you can turn the head 360. Uh, you also get some head pivoting right there, and the turtle head can look up just that much and down that far. We also get the jaw articulation that we went over. You can open up the mouths that wide open, and of course you could shut them. Uh, they don't close all the way, but eh, it's close enough. Now to measure out the height of these baby turtles, you can see that they're standing just under four and a half inches tall. And then here's our baby turtles next to a quarter scale Michelangelo and you can see how tiny they are next to the quarter scale Mikey and his knees are bent over here but yeah I can imagine that one of these growing into one of these right here yeah and then for your baby turtle comparison these are the only other baby turtles I have we have the 2012 TMNT cartoon Leonardo right here and then there's the little tiny baby turtle that came with the ooze and then here's the four baby turtles next to the Leonardo from the STCC exclusive cartoon Ninja Turtles from last year and you can see how much shorter they are than next to one of these seven inch scale figures. And then here's the four baby turtles next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ah, some baby ninjas, huh? Yeah, I know some kung fu. Just let me stretch out over here. I'm gonna show you some moves in a second, kids. Yeah. <coughs> I gotta give a big thanks to you guys for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. It helps the YouTube channel out a lot when you guys watch the videos from the very beginning all the way to the end, as well as when you hit that like button. Leave your comments down below, and please hit that subscribe button, as well as hit that notification bell if you have not already. I really like this set. This is a lot of fun. I guess my biggest gripe is that I could use some more articulation, you know, it would make them a little bit more fun, but at the same time, I can get them eating their pizza and goofing around with the pizza and stuff, so, you know, I'm not really that upset or have a high demand for articulation, it's not like I'm going to have them, you know, like, using their weapons or anything like that. They're the baby turtles, they're fun to have, so I really do like them, and I'm giving them a sud rating of... It's not so bad. And I'm curious to know what you guys think, and have you heard about the STCC exclusive TMNT movie set? Oh man, I'm trying to get my hands on those. I was right there on the NECA website trying to pick them up and they were sold out as I was at the cart trying to pay for them. So yeah, kind of a bummer, but I can try again tomorrow. Anyway, again, I hope you guys liked this.
this video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see photo gallery of images, it should be over at shardmasprime.net and toynewseye.com. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm sure I Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.